It's all right, son. You're safe now. Where? Shh. We're in Dr. Pretorius' retreat. But you may not have to hide out here much longer. Why? It's growing in culture. Hmm. Yes, it does appear to be organic. Possibly viral. Tao was right. It's the vaccine. We've got to tell the triumvirate. Then we've got to reproduce enough of this to inoculate everyone against... Hold on, son. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's no proof yet it's effective in the body. We haven't tested it on any person who has rabies. And we can't because nobody in North Cole has rabies. We can test it on a rat. If we had one. But the whole complex has been fumigated. No rats have been found. Not yet. You say this Tau showed you there were rats here at some stage? Yeah. Son, I believe you. But let's face it, it looked pretty weird to anyone else. This guy Tau, 65 years in the future, and by all accounts a pretty slippery customer anyway, shows you images about the fate of North Cole. True or not, it's still very bizarre. I know it's bizarre, but they've got to believe us. You know I believe you, Noah. But even I'm having a little trouble getting my head around all this. Maybe you can get your head around this. Tao's disc, how did you get your hands on that? Easy. I just took it. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me about this before? Because I was hoping the vaccine would be enough. You said it had some pretty depressing stuff on it. Um, yeah. Like, I mean, pictures of all of us dying. Yeah, that's the point. The images are so strong that anyone who sees them will be shocked into realising that we're in danger. Dad, we have to show Dr. Pretorius and the rest of the triumvirate. They've got to know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, you feeling all right, then? Yes, great. No strange side effects from the rat bite. Son, Nan, stop talking about it. My friends! My friends! They're headed this way! Protectors! Many of them! Just the other side of the mountains of the moon! We must get ready to leave! What's this? Mushroom goulash? With mashed spinifex roots! My word, you protectors have got it good. Ah, oh, then! A nice big helping for the boss. We'll split into three groups. Group one spreads out here to cut off their retreat through the ranges. Groups two and three will flank them from both ends of the beach, here and here. Squeezing the sand tribers in the middle. Leaving them nowhere to run except into the ocean. Good strategy. Yes. Wouldn't you agree, Savage? Yeah, I, I, I agree 100%. Agree with what? Well, everything. I'm not expecting any serious resistance from these sand drivers. So once we've put them out of their spineless misery, we'll be able to concentrate on the main business. Yeah, uh, quite right. The main business. Which is? Well, I mean, it's, it's obvious, isn't it? It's finding a new source of Thunderstone. Yeah, of course. Just what I was about to say. The sample. The, uh, sample. The magical fluid! Water, rich in thunderstone. Thunderstone! From a mountain stream up there, carried down from high in the mountains of the moon, pure thunderstone! Thunderstone! I will take us to the source. 
the source of unimaginable power, delivered to our planet from the fallen comet, Nemesis. Thunderstone! And remember, Cindy and Paul aren't stupid, but they're not blessed with very much imagination either. So keep it simple and direct. And don't allow your emotions to run away with you. Simple, direct, and emotional. The goal is to get them to allow you to broadcast the disc. The archival evidence will speak for itself. Why'd you bother to come back? Why were you even born? You will come with us. Come where? Why? To the holodeck. These junior citizens are under arrest for violations against North Coal laws. Coercion is unnecessary. We're already on our way to the holodeck anyway. You will come with us now. This could be harder than I thought. I'm not just showing you this disc to prove where we've been. It contains information vital to the safety of North Coal. You must look at it now. It is not for you to tell the Triumvirate what it must do. Especially now. Your escape was nothing less than a premeditated challenge to our authority. You know well enough that without the strictest adherence to our laws, the people of North Coal will never have survived in our underground confinement. If I could... And you three conspired with them. Uh, I cannot allow you to silence Noah. The Constitution of North Coal states quite clearly all citizens have the right to an open forum. The right of open forum has never been invoked. It was only ever intended in an extreme constitutional crisis. That's exactly what this is. It's a matter of life and death for all of us. Do you realize the consequences, Noah? If you invoke the right of open forum and the community rejects your case, you will forfeit all future legal rights. There's no risk. Once you've seen this, you'll believe me. All right. We'll make arrangements to set up an immediate all-channel transmission. You're the first real friends I've ever had. You are a friend. That's why we trust you to decide for yourself. But you stuck with me. Even at the first sign of trouble, you don't owe us anything. But I do. Then stay. You have to decide. The Sand Tribe is your people. They're your family. Besides, you'll have to look after Dolly. She'll be safer away from here. And it's not like we're never going to see each other again when it's over. I must go with the Sand Tribers. For Dolly's sake. Wish us luck. <sighs> Take care of this guy, hear me, Dolly? Sorry to be deserting my brave nomad allies. A leader must go with his clan, just as I go with mine. I envy you your courage. For just five of you, against the whole might of the protectors, it is impossible. Anything's possible. Go then, and my heart goes with you. This strange new disease hits North Coal without warning. Nobody knows what it is or where it came from. Finally, it's identified. It's an acute fatal disease known in the pre-comet world as rabies. Discs can be faked. Eventually, Dr. Pretorius develops a cure. A vaccine which will not only vaccinate against the disease, but unless the patient's already too far gone, will also halt its progress. Sadly, uh, Dr. Pretorius himself dies soon afterwards. 
Citizens of North Col, you've seen the future. You've seen what will be our fate unless we change it. I learnt this in my time journey to Haven, a place that sits or, or that will sit on the surface directly above us, above what will be the ruins of North Col. Tell them, Noah, how we can change the future. We can change the future. This epidemic needn't happen if we act quickly. Now, there have been reports that rats have been sighted at North Col, so it's possible that the disease is already here. But I brought back a medicine from the future, a vaccine for rabies. So I need permission from you, the citizens of North Col, to produce enough of this vaccine for everyone now, before it's too late. So you tell us that Dr. Pretorius dies before he can actually administer the medicine? So you give us no proof that it actually works? Before he dies, Dr. Pretorius tests his vaccine successfully on one person. And this person is? Me. <laughs> are you are you suggesting that you alone are to survive? According to the disc, yes. Citizens of North Col, let me remind you that the purpose of this forum is not to decide whether some magical potion exists. The issue here is that these two youngsters, assisted by their parents and Dr. Pretorius, knowingly broke the law. If I could get a word in before I die, the news is not all bad. I believe Noah has more to tell you about what lies in store. Yes. According to the archive disc, there will be a global warming in approximately one season from now. There will be clear signs of the snow starting to melt. Please, listen to Noah and believe. He has brought back knowledge that can save us from a disaster, so we all might see the day when we can live on the surface again. More creatures. So what? Well, whenever they turn up, the protectors act childish. It slows us down. Then remove them. Maser guns? Problem solved. No? Well, it's just... The protectors are afraid to shoot them. Afraid? Afraid that the animals will be impervious to the maser guns and stampede their attackers. Well, that's easy to fix. This archive disc could be just a cruel hoax. But let's say that what Noah has shown us is indeed some bizarre vision into the future of North Col. Doesn't it seem odd to you that Noah, and Noah alone, is the only one who survived to tell the story? It's Noah, whose ambition and arrogance are obvious to us all. How do we know he isn't working with others to destroy us? This shadow master he speaks of, who bestowed upon Noah alone this vision of the future. Could it not be that Noah is part of some monstrous conspiracy? Yeah, he's a traitor! Yeah, he's a liar! Citizens of North Cole, you have made your decision. Through the open forum, you have rejected Noah's story. He and his family will be arrested and confined to quarters. 
Noah and Becky, who have escaped before, will be placed under 24-hour surveillance. This time, there'll be no escape. Furthermore, these vials of so-called vaccine are hereby taken into custody by the Triumvirate. The vaccine is mine. Silence. They are state evidence and should best be kept where they can do least harm. But the Operatives, take them away. understand it. They seem to be on your side. I blame myself. I was too confrontational, and I completely misread Cynthia's mood. Hey, you, you did all you could. It was me. I didn't argue strongly enough. That's not true, Noah. You spoke very well. No. I had a chance to make a difference. To help the people of North Col. And, and I blew it. I... It's just like I blew the chance to help the nomads in Haven. Stop it, Noah. You made a big difference at Haven. How? By... by deserting them when things got difficult? What about the way you saved the animals? What about how you wrecked the Electronets with the Silverwing? Oh, tell me. The Silverwing. I forgot to ask before. Uh, how did it work against the Electronets? It was very effective. After Noah fixed it. There was a malfunction. Oh, one of the circuits was broken. Not like you to miss something like that, Alan. <laughs> I'll have a look at it. Uh, that could be difficult. Noah left it there. Whereabouts? Ah, oh, at a place called the Riverlands. Our friends know where it is. I had him in my sights. Can it be fixed? That's not the point. That toy they have can neutralize our weapons. Well, at least there's only one of them. Shouldn't we keep moving? We'd be getting close to the protectors by now. Moshi? Moshi! Stay where you are! <laughs> Got you, termites! Abrushka! Run! Go! Get her! This is interesting. The outside temperature. It's risen two degrees in less than a week. Are you sure about that? Yes. Look. Then the warming's begun. This is fantastic. This is the breakthrough. I've got to tell Dr. Pretorius. I'm sure the central database will have already picked it up. No, no, no. You don't understand. See, according to the disk, the global warming started now. So if it was right about the warming, it's got to be right about the rats, too. Well, it's a point. It sure is. That's a point Dr. Pretorius has got to make to Cynthia and Paul. Now they've got to believe me. So this is a number 3498. You're confined to your quarters. Please, move away from the exit. Becky. You still got that atomizer? Yeah. I just need a distraction. Two minutes, Max. Yeah. Excuse me, Operative 451. There's nowhere to 
go. I said, relax. <laughs> 